What's up, Jim Spa TV? Check out real quick my TLC review. I will be reviewing the TLC lineup. Chow and something else. Totally T Boss, The Sisterhood, and also The Best fu best Funeral Ever. Alright, Friday is a do it yourself video on how I did my own laptop skin on my laptop. But check out the TLC review right now. trying to do simult is is crazy but anyway what's up y'all had to weigh in real quick on sisterhood the best funeral ever and totally t boss uh this is straight at gym how y'all doing how your mama doing how your daddy doing hope you are having a good time we're nine we nine days into the new year. Hope you had a good day today. All that good stuff. Anyway, I didn't, I was confused with Best Funeral Ever. I was absolutely confused. I didn't know if they were sending a pig home to rest or was they sending a grown man. I just didn't get that. They had pigs all in there. They had the man all in the uh, barbecue pit like he was a piece of pork. I ain't get it. That was just too much for me. That one was going too far. And then Santa sitting in the pool pit. And they had the little elves they could. It was just too much. I don't know. You know, people send their family off how they want to. But <laughs> that is just too much. I mean... We don't make anything into a show. And y'all can say what y'all want. Y'all always be talking about, yeah, Miss Trey. You know, some people say I coon when I do my characters. Am I really cooning? Y'all seen all them people, real people. Y'all seen all them folk in Best Funeral. <laughs> yeah, well, you seen them. Uh, uh, Mother Steel up in there with a tax sale. You seen Auntie Shink up in there. You seen all that. Stop playing. But anyway, honey, I was confused. I didn't know if they were sending a slab of ribs home to wrestles. They sending a grown man. I know he made the chili baby back ribs song, but come on. And then the preacher said, I don't know about you, <laughs> but all I got to say is, I want my baby, 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 back ribs. <laughs> honey, they'll make anything into a show. That is just, that's just too hilarious. And you're not supposed to be laughing about somebody going home to go. <laughs> That's just, you not. You you not. And then it had to know to be trending on Twitter. You gotta get your life. It was trending on Twitter. Honey, back. Moving on. <laughs> Stop it. I had to do a Wendy on that. How you doing? What? <laughs> Moving on. Sisterhood. Baby, y'all is some messy ones. Y'all as messy as they come. The only one seem to be like got a head screwed on kind of straight is uh and ain't insane or just trying to be too carnal to be a pastor's wife or a pastor or whatever. It's pastor uh the the, the, the Caucasian pastor, Delanica, Delanica, whatever her name is, she seemed to be the only one that got any type of godly principles going on in her life. Y'all can message me if you think I'm wrong, but it is what it is. I mean, come on, you sitting up there, y'all sitting up there talking about this. <laughs> Dominique was funny, though. Dominique, that was just too stupid, though. I'm sorry, uh, sister, from one sister to another. That was just stupid. You really wanted this woman to explain to you what litmus mean. When all you had to do was listen to the sent sentence and heard what it meant. That's all I'm saying. People, we can't be dumbing down these days. Come on, y'all, now. We got to get together. <laughs> I'm going to need you to get you a Webster boo. Who don't phonics work for me? I'm just saying. I'm going to need you to work on that, Miss Dominique. But your story was really, really, really touching of what you went through as a 13 year old. You was basically passed around for a 
a pack of a, a pack of beer in a in a in a in a dub. I mean, you you was passed around like you was nothing, baby. You gonna need some show sure enough counseling from that. You need some counseling. You need some counseling spiritually, and you need to go to a licensed psychiatrist and psychologist. They can help you walk through the steps you need to take to get your freedom, baby, because you're kind of bound by your past. And it's and it's sad because your husband is really reaching out to you. He really want to love on you. He really want to do that, but he can't because he's limited. He's absolutely limited by, he's limited, honey. He's limited because you're hurting, you know, and that's why you don't have to get that on together. And I'm going to need you to buy you a Western Dictionary. I'm going to need you to do that because the, the psychiatrist ain't going to dumb down for you. So I'm going to need you to get you a dictionary, okay? I'm just saying I'm going to need you to do that. I'm going to need you to go and invest into you a dictionary. I'm going to need you to do that. Every, every good person that want to talk to any person should have a dictionary. I'm sorry. I ain't. No, I'm not. I got me a dictionary when I, when I was... 16 and I was talking to this one woman and she was just talking all these words and I'm looking at her like what? I got me a dictionary and ever since then I, I can understand whoever talk. I can bring it down or bring it up. Speaking of bring it down, bring it up. Tara, honey, I don't know if you talking to an angel or like, I was trying to fight for you girl because this thing you just really truly just love Jesus. You know, it just oozes at your pores, bro. You know what I'm saying? But baby, if you're talking to an angel of light, I'm gonna need you to step on the real side of the light of God. I mean, I'm gonna need you to do that. I'm gonna need you to stop talking to the angel of light. Boo, I'm gonna need you to do that. Baby, I was outdone. You hear me? Outdone. <laughs> With this whole, um, my son gonna be the first black and Jewish president. <laughs> like, Barack is already the first black president, okay? They're not going to even look at the fact that you saying black and Jew, okay? That ain't going to happen. I am, I kind of feel where you're coming from, where you feel like, you know, people shouldn't still be in the 21st century or whatever, uh, 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 in 2013, caught up on what color is. I mean, you know, and it's the society we live in, and it's tragic, but that's the real life truth, so... You got to raise your boys up to live in this world system, honey. Because you got them some straight alien foreign travelers. They just some ambassadors, some space cadets. You understand me? They do, he want a black tie at 13. Where they do that at? I need you to get that together, honey. Where they do that black tie affair? You want it like a inaugural ball? Girl, you, you cuckoo cocoa puffs. That's all I got to say, honey. Uh, yo, and, and people, people on Twitter, they was getting so mad at her because they said she was quoting scripture. Let me help y'all understand. She didn't quote no scripture. Now, that's one thing she didn't do. She said something that was spiritual, but she didn't quote no scripture. Okay, so Ivy and Dominique, let me help y'all. She did not quote any scripture. She, if she was saying in James 1 and 3, it says X, Y, and Z. 2 Corinthians 14 and 2 Three this, Second Corinthians thirteen and two. We say this, uh, Genesis three and four. Say this. That's quoting scripture. She didn't quote scripture. She said something that was spiritual. And the first statement she said when y'all said she was quoting scripture wasn't even Bible. That was just <laughs> that was just the same. Okay. I'm gonna need y'all to work that out. I need y'all to get that together. Okay. Um. Oh, the Dominican princess, the pastor from the Oasis wife. Honey, <laughs> you was mad at Brian the Terror, one. <laughs> you was ready to jump on one, you fool. <laughs> you forgot you <laughs> Hey, that you fool. You was about to get a fool. <laughs> but anyway, real quick, I feel like Sisterhood is really another reality show about just the women. I don't think you all should be depicting yourselves as first ladies because it's not depicting your life as first ladies. It's just depicting you all as some wives. You know, actu some actual wives. That's it. Because some of y'all not even pastors anymore of a church. Y'all just 
ordained as pastors, but you don't have a congregation or anything. You know, so y'all need to just have it depicted, y'all lives as women trying to come together. And you know, because really for real, it needs to be about, uh, it needs to be about Dominique and her husband trying to build their church. Some in there need to be going back into them trying to open the doors to their church again. Ivy and her husband, how they can cross over into um, other avenues dealing with their ministry and the working class and how some of the ministry things they do for their neighborhood, stuff like that. I mean, you know, uh, with the uh, with the Brian and Tara, it needs to depict them to really trying to step into the scene of tele-evangelism. And, you know, you get what I'm saying. It needs to really be dealing with you all if you're going to say y'all what y'all are. You know, the basketball-wise, to me, I don't think they basketball-wise. They just some sisters that hung out with some basketball players. The only one shot, well, you get what I'm saying. Because they don't even show them in no basketball games, nothing. I mean, you know, we need to really be what we are. And I think that you all coming into the market of reality TV should come out there full blazing it in that trail to say, you know what, well, we are wives, we first ladies, let me show you our house. Let us show you, you know, yeah. Okay, TLC, I don't know what's up with your lineup. I really don't understand it, boo. Told these T-Bobs I'm still gonna be watching. Um, it kind of picked up this episode for me. Uh, Chili, baby, you need you need to get a heart and understand this sister had to learn everything all over again. t boss a career ain't that important, baby. You can still sit back and collect checks writing songs. I'm just saying, you need to really reevaluate what it is your life you want to do. I think you should open up a production company and go from there. All right, so that's my take on TLC's lineup. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, Comment, rate, subscribe, share the video, tell people about the channel. Thank you so very much to those that have subscribed, those that have uh, been rating the videos. Thank you. I really appreciate it. All right. Much love to you all. Diamonds, you are the toughest material on the earth, ladies, and there is none like you. Chance, you're no longer boys when you watch this, and I appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate your dollars. Mwah.